Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Thursday, June the 29th. The year is 2023. Let's talk trading. Red News Trading with Walmart. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and from Walmart. Walmart, we got a couple red news from the U.S. dollar coming up here at the bottom of the hour. What are we looking at? We got the final GDP quarter over quarter that's coming in. And, uh, that, that, well, I'll talk about both of them in a second. And the second thing that's coming in is the unemployment claims for the week. And then we also have orange news, which is the final GDP price index. The, let me, the final GDP that usually doesn't move the market very much just because they've already had two or three revisions to that number. So that number is usually comes in exactly as expected. There's been surprises in the past, but for the most part, it doesn't cause anything. The unemployment claims, the interesting thing about that number is that that's the last number that takes into consideration the NFP that comes out next Friday. So that could have some impact on the market. We'll have to go and see. And then finally, the uh, final GDP. Again, that usually doesn't move the market very much. And again, that's just because it's been like two or three uh, revisions to that number at this point in time. So unless something really spooky happened, <laughs> you know, uh, it doesn't usually move anything. But we have to go and watch and see because we don't care what the numbers are. We care about what the market does with the numbers. Right. And since this is U.S. Um, government news, usually in the minute before the news release, uh, price moves in the opposite direction of what it's going to do after the release doesn't always work that way but that's the way we've been playing with it yeah this is the last minute right now um the clock just tick <laughs> and so so far it just looks like it's going up slightly but just going right back to its open and it's stuck right here at the 60 not moving very much I've got a black candle which is bearish and it's pushing down pushing down <laughs> pushing yeah, down yeah, I got okay I just finally got that so we've got 20 seconds left let's see what happens got a two ball oh, oh it just shot up pushing it down pushing it down Pushing it down. Three, two, one. So it was down, so we should buy, and it dropped like a rock. <laughs> Coming back okay. up. And it's really funny because I've got my phone on the same account, but for some reason the computer's frozen, but this thing has dropped all the way down to 46. I'm down to 40. Back, I'm shooting between 40 and 45. Now I'm above 45. Now I'm back down. Yeah, so traders, like you said, that doesn't always work. <laughs> yep. You know, it's well, it did shoot up, but the problem was it shot up like five pips. And immediately, just one tick straight down back to the open of it. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you, you know, that's, to me, that's untradeable. But you got a you got a supercomputer right next to that computer. You could. <laughs> okay, the final GDP it came in uh, four point one. They were expecting four point two. Uh, the final, uh, the uh, I'm sorry, that was the the uh, final G uh, GDP price index and the final GDP quarter over quarter, they're expecting 1.4 and they got 2.0. So that's very good numbers for the U.S. economy. And we're still waiting for the unemployment claims that haven't come out on Forex.com yet. Uh, not Forex.com, Forex Factory. And it turned the uh, day red. Yep. I went short at uh, the day open, and uh, I picked up five pips on that. Nice. Let me 
sitting here waiting to see what it does next. Yeah, like I said, for some strange reason, this computer's not moving like the phone is. Interesting. Uh, they finally came out with the unemployment uh, claims, and the unemployment claims they were expecting 264,000. They got 239. So, again, very, very good uh, data for the U.S. economy. So, that explains why the price is all the way down at 20. 25 now. So I'm still waiting for my next opportunity to take a trade. I want this to play out a little bit. Yeah, and they usually make these kind of moves like at the end of the month, and they just you see you can see the coast to coast. They just like to clear the books, I guess. Yeah, but the thing is also yesterday we had a big day at 146 pip range yesterday. And today so far we only have a 52 pip range, so we have lots of room to move. But every other day this week, um, let's see that uh, it's been 60 pips or less. So. We've had a pretty compressed week. Yeah, it went short at 25. Yeah, we're uh, nine pips off the bottom at the moment. <clears throat> May get burned on this one, but we'll see. You're getting an inside bar on the previous M1. Yep, we do. And we're at the 10% Fib retrace level. I'm on birthday 25. Hmm. There we go. Whoops. Not for very long, though. There we go. Okay. Break this right here. Break this, then it's gone. For a little while, anyway. It's got to break it. Didn't break it. Hmm. One more time. <laughs> did you ex take your pips? I did not, but I just did just now. And I got 2.1 pips, which wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. Um, not good because I know it's going to break this level and it's going to go down to 20, which is where my original TP was. But emotion sat in and I wanted my money. <laughs> <laughs> Before they take it back, right? Exactly. You know? But here we go, we're testing that same level again. This is the fourth time we're testing it. Uh, let me look over at a different chart here to give a, uh, wow. Big, I've got the M30 chart oh, up. Hit, yep. Hit the 20, just like I said it would. <laughs> <laughs> 19, yeah. So, that's called, you know, we talked the. Uh, we had a day this week where we talked about, you know, uh, patience and luck. <laughs> I yes. didn't have patience. Here we go. We're going to hit the 15 next. Yep, hit the 15. That's called when you don't have patience. You know, from where my entry point was, 
I could have picked up 10 pips or, you know, and I didn't, you know, and it's just, uh, I didn't have the patience to sit it out. And that's, and that's, you know, I know myself, I know who I am and I know I don't have patience in that. And that's why I take things off the table quickly. Just put the money in the bank. And, yeah, it means I take a lot more trades than some people would like you to take. But at the same time, you know, I put money in the bank just, you know, a little bit at a time. Let's see if this thing finally goes and makes a run up. Complete that return bar. Well, on my multimeters, I've got a lot of red on the trade direction and the bias direction multimeters. So this is uh, kind of sit on your hands. <laughs> yeah. If you if you haven't already gotten short, because the uh, bias direction changed um, on the daily and on the H4. And it's kind of like, uh, I definitely don't want to trade against those. You can get freight trained. <laughs> yep. I mean, we did have a flip-flop here. We did go above indicator two. Yeah. But we didn't have a state change yet. So, you well, know, it's like I had a state change. Bar. I went from uh, lower to outside to uh Oh, you're higher. right. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yep, I didn't. You're right. There was a state change. So you, you don't have the indicator it. on, do you? You doing it by eye? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if you would have taken that trade, you could have gotten, you know, pip. So, you know, but the problem is because of the way the market's moving, you probably couldn't have gotten it because you would have punched the button. And uh, yeah, you were up a pip, pip and a half, something like that. And by the time you punched the button, uh, it swung the other way, and you wind up getting that break even or even a loss. <laughs> yeah, actually, they um, I know they 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 nick us a lot, but yesterday um, they gave me uh, almost a pip in my favor on one. <laughs> Price was was just moving. And there you go. There's the uh, there's where your payout is right there. Yeah. Because you could have gotten three pips. Yeah, on yeah, mine so, I think it showed two. Yeah, because we just had a twenty-three percent retrace off of that um, three ball. Yeah, and you know that's a good thing to point out. You had a twenty-three percent retrace, and that's sort of like that's a good place to put your TP right there, because a lot of times it'll go and do that twenty-three percent retrace and bounce off of it. Not saying that it's not going to go to the 38, which is the next level up, but a lot of times what it does is it bounces off the 23 and may even go all the way back to where your entry point may have been before it goes makes that next attempt and this time crosses the 23, go to the 38. That's just what you know uh, what the panel likes to do. Uh, right, sharing experience. <laughs> well, and then and the one thing about it is if you if you look at the uh, M1 chart. It's, it'll do that especially if it leaves an imbalance. Yep. But in this particular case, there's no imbalance. Yeah, the, the next imbalance level is all the way up at 35. So. Hey, uh, Walmart just dropped off the uh, line for some reason. I'm not sure why. I, I guess they'll be calling back. Meanwhile, um... If you're looking at indicator two, you can see prices staying above it here. We're 0.8 either at the multimeters. And then here, Walmart's calling back. Hey, welcome back, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there. And they just dropped. Okay, I was just telling the uh, traders that we're looking at the indicator two, which is the EMA5 and close. Um, and it's just showing you that price is still staying above it. We're almost.